Probably, man. Would you they say had... same dev? Yeah, it's it's like melee was kind of like batched into different uh, like developers that made different, different teams characters. worked on different people. Different, yeah, teams, different characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, oh, that's why they oh, like share dude. certain traits. Yeah. Oh, that's wild. I had no idea. Still learning stuff. Twenty years out. Shout out to the melee dev. Shout out to Team Hal. Gatsu, if there's something that always just really impressed me, I mean, he's the only. I, I I think out of the you know you gotta call him pretty much at this point he's like a top four falcon I think he's right behind the other three you know Nun Johnny and and um, Wizrobe mm -hmm. but uh, out of them you know he's so willing to go for those like tech chase stomps on reaction where he's not just reading or guessing that you're gonna tech that way you know he'll wave dash up next to you and he'll actually go for those uh, on reaction so he gets that's why sometimes it just feels like he hits so 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 hard. Mm -hmm. God, what a set for Aklo. I mean, he played so well in moments there, but Gatsu with the comeback factor mm -hmm. it's in that last game especially. Touch of death, like you said. But, man, it looks like our next set in losers is going to get underway here between Ben and the Swooper. I kind of worry about the, see this man again. the Swooper. I feel like mm -hmm. Sheik against Samus, right? That that sounds like one of those matchups where, you know, Sheik just kind of bodies mid to low tier characters, right? So I kind of I kind of wonder how uh, Ben is going to do against the Swooper here, if he's going to feel very comfortable or the Swooper is going to be fighting an uphill battle. Yeah, I mean, it's the kind of thing where, uh, you know, as the as the level of play gets higher and higher, of course the Samuses are going to work out some counterplay of their own. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, just being that I've never really seen the Super versus Sheik, I mean, we'll find out. I don't know that this, this exact set has ever happened, Super versus Ben. Maybe it has, maybe it hasn't. Real quick, again, thank you to everyone supporting the event uh, mm -hmm. by donating or visiting our merch store. We did get a $41 donation from Anonymous saying, just got into Melee and enjoyed the bender. Yes, dude. Love seeing new people get into Melee. I feel like it's a common thing now, man, in the slippy age. There are just so many new players. Definitely a lot of new players. Playing for the first time. Yeah, dude. A lot of new players playing for the first time. A lot of old players who haven't played in a long time that are getting back into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Running like a really lot of old school players. You know, it's like, yeah. it reminds me of, uh, you know how a bunch of players came back to Melee in 2013? Kind of right Yeah, there. like Ken, Korean DJ, mm -hmm. yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean, I still see Ken. Ken streams Melee, like, you know, he'll stream it a couple times a week. Yeah, that's Over right. on his Twitch channel. I was actually watching him the other night. He looked really good. He looked better than I remembered. I was like, oh, <laughs> looks really modern, actually. A little slippy level up? A little slippy level up. It's The slippy level ups are real, for sure. Really excited for offline, dude. Ben, every time I Ooh. watch Ben, dude, every time I watch him, it feels like he's going faster and faster. He's yeah. Remember the first time I watched him, he felt like he was like one of those, you know, kind of like slower, smart cheeks. And the more I watch him, I'm like, he, look at all the buttons he's pressing. Like, holy cow! Holy cow! You just did the thing where you push 50 million buttons while you're guarding Samus, and then she shoots you with the missile, and you're not ready for it. And you're like, okay, I feel like well, you, an idiot. Well, you gotta stay warmed up. You gotta stay warmed up. <laughs> It's like clicking your SCVs in StarCraft, like over and that's, over. That's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Tryx used to talk uh, about that. Super gets the Alston Melee First Blood. Yeah. First Blood. Again, loving to use Charge Shot kind of off the ledge, recovering it in, in a time you wouldn't expect it. It's so fun to watch. Mm -hmm. And Shield about to pop for the Swooper, but making use of the Light Shield. Oh. If he did that needle, you know, Sheik's needle is one of those moves that can really make Samus suffer for, for going for that grapple. Where um, if you hit them right after the grapple comes out with that diagonal needle, it's a lot of the time they just die. You just edge hog them. You yeah. can't do anything. Samus needs to react very quickly to try to recover from that. And that's even if they are still close enough to the stage. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Like sometimes you can just grab the ledge and, and it's like, oh, that's, that's everything. Your grapple's gone. You're just gonna, oh my god. Gotcha. Ooh. Now, the, the needles also eat through all of Samus's projectiles, too. Fully charged uh, charge beam and everything. Yeah. One, one needle. Wild. Pops that yeah. one. It's an insanely good projectile. I think needles uh, needles and Falco lasers, I think pretty much everyone would agree, are in some order, probably the two best projectiles. They do slightly different things, but mm -hmm. insanely good projectile. That 45 degree angle too to be used in edge guarding situations is so mm -hmm. powerful. Uh, well, well, technically, there's five different angles for the needles that they can track. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah, you can see Ben going for it right there. Be, He's going to be correct that. here. He's going for that air needle to. Uh... And he hasn't quite gotten the timing yet to cover mm -hmm. the grapple, but you, you see that he's going for it. 
I think Sheik definitely like one of the characters that is probably, if not the character that's the best at Asgardic Samus. Um, <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, she's, okay, and there's the down throw. That's kind of the, I don't think there's any other character that really gets to have a guaranteed kill confirm on Samus off of a grab at kill percent. And that's always going to be something you got to be scared of uh, when you're when you're fighting Samus versus Sheik. Like, she can grab you at 100 and just kill, or 120 and kill you. I think maybe Marth and Falcon are the two other characters that come kind of close to having like a good confirm off of grab. Right, but not guaranteed, not nearly guaranteed, right? If they DI away. Yeah, exactly. Something else we have to be mindful of on recovery is that those needles will eat bombs as well. True. Ooh. Oh, what a down tilt. Jesus. Yeah. Snuck that in, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Needles needles really mess Samus up for the recovery. Not just the gravel, but like you said, the bombs or even just hitting her, yeah. I mean she'll she'll just drop further and then take it takes away more of her options that she can go for. And ben looking really nice on this uh this third stock of this. Like, oh yeah. really patient the way he's opening it up. Just nice back air spacing, not taking too many risks versus a low percent Samus. Oh grab from behind. Yeah, that was, that was wild. Super tried to get back the middle there, ate a backer for it. A lot of times, manages to get in. Deals on a backer of his own. Oh wow, but that up tilt actually won't combo, unfortunately, for the swooper. Mm -hmm. yeah. Looked like that was a moment where Swooper was trying to figure out, like, what do I actually do to punish you? Do I back in or do I try to yeah. bring up platform and just right? Up? Oh, big bear there! Wow. Oh, Have we seen wave land. In, no impact lands from Swooper, from ledge? Like the, those up air, no impact lands? I haven't mm. noticed any yet. Good it's question. Yeah, no, yeah. he usually goes for an aerial for sure. Mm -hmm. That was something tight trick. It is. I, I definitely noticed like against, um, who's, who sent him to, was it Panda yeah. that sent him to losers where he's always grabbing the ledge and going for one of those aerials. And, you know, sometimes like, yeah, sometimes, like you said, it's better not to throw out an aerial. Maybe go for a no-impact land, and you can just get an easy down smash or something. Mm -hmm. I can see it on Battlefield, though, be kind, kind of a little daunting, right? Like, if you hold in too early, you just get Battlefield. You your bonk head. your head on the ceiling, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Now, that last stock, we ended up seeing the power of the needles on that last edge guard, right? Swooper's trying to recover with bomb jumps after the first bomb got needled, so no longer can jump out of it, really. Uh, tried to immediately go for the grapple, got needled out of it. More needles, yep. And fared, you know. Needles just lead to more needles. <laughs> yeah, basically. My favorite needle edge guard of all time had to be that time Plump was edge guarding Hungry Box and he just needle, 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 needle. <laughs> and H Box kept jumping into it. Yeah. <laughs> and he just got like a gimp out of it. I was like, what is going on right now? That's a come on H Box moment. Come on, H Box. <laughs> just jump to the yeah. just jump to the right. <laughs> just jump to the, just jump, jump jump to the, the other right. way. Jump to the right, dude. Found your way to the bubble or something. <laughs> I love the come on H Box moments, dude. All right, Final Dreams. Final Dreams is kind of a stage that I think both these characters usually really like. It makes sense that we would see it at least once in this set. Mm -hmm. Ooh, almost. Edgehog him. Ooh, wow. Bro, I imagine that was almost a power shield, though. Yeah. Oh, shit. Very cool. Could have been crazy. Mm -hmm. Dude, one little nitpick I have with, with melee power shielding is I don't like that it reduces the damage of a projectile. Shouldn't it increase it? It should. Oh, I think it should. Or at it. least keep it the same. Yeah. At least keep yeah, it the same. Like yeah, yeah. It's it's such a bummer when you power shield a, a yeah. charge shot or a missile and it's like, oh, it wasn't as strong. Because reflector makes it more powerful. Yeah. Right. The one, one that's funny sometimes is when when you you know, Samus uh, shoots the charge shot and you reflect it at her and then she power shields it and mm -hmm. then it hits you and then it's like a normal strength because it got amplified by your reflector but then it got cut in half by the power shield so it works yeah. out to being. Exactly as strong as it was at the start. You just gotta keep the math in mind, you know? <laughs> kind of funny how that works. Yeah, there's those needles again, man. Wow. Right wow. Managed to turn around very quickly. So some, something that, that these two players are very adept at. No, I mean, a lot of high player, high level players are uh, uh -huh. as well. You know, some oh! people just wow. turn around. Like, just right, random. Right. Turnarounds, but very deliberate turnarounds uh, to try to, you know, set up for their next move. Something that these players are extremely, extremely good at. Yeah, it's that. Like, oh my! That should kill. that should not have comboed, guys. I saw Swooper's jump come out. He sh I wonder if he could have got a nair or a bomb out in time. Bro, and it killed it. Such a low percent. Yeah. Holy cannoli! 
109 to have to be up on a stage like Fountain of Dreams, too. With the highest vertical blast zone of any neutral stage besides Dreamland. Oh. Aw, oh, Sewer's so hoping for a, a panic jump. Kind of an aggressive right. jump from Ben there. Yeah, but I think Ben Ben's Ooh. the kind of solid player where he knows, like, this is what I... Like, in this spot, this is what I, this is the option I can't give you, because if I give you this, I'm going to take a ton of damage. Yeah. Oh, but Swooper is working right now. Misses oh. his up tilt. Yeah, he Ben's going to take around. free damage for that, but, dude, he has worked his ass off this stock to find combos on Sheik. Mm -hmm. Oh, the tipper back here. Yeah, wow. Beautiful from Swooper. Yeah, very impressive stuff. Oh, wow. ordering him out of the out of the bombs. Yeah, bomb movement here from Swooper. He loves to make mm -hmm. that happen, especially at low percent when it's a little trickier to land clean damage. Mm -hmm. Good wave dash forward forward to by Ben. Ben still in the lead here. Wow. Oh, oh, tech chase from Ben. That's such a tough spot. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, right to the ledge, just where do you go? Di totally. in. Di out. You get fair. But Swooper, with the DI good enough to take the forwarder and still be okay. Sometimes it's, it's just what you gotta do, I guess. You just wanna make sure you don't give them the upper when the upper will kill, you know? Because you can't recover if the upper sends you off the top. Yeah. Even say pick up from the bottom of this stage, if anything. That's right. Yeah, you could use the wall jumps, you know, the grapple, tether wall jumps. Oh, big show wow. drop there. Yeah, great show drops all set so far from Swooper. Mm -hmm. Oh! And the bear spacing! Right in the middle of Fountain of Dreams between the side platforms. That was crazy. Super looking for extra damage here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. These crazy charge shots from off stage. Wow, it's so surprising. Super from that too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Damage. That should trade kill. No, almost. Wow, good DI by Swooper. Mm -hmm. Ben probably wasn't too happy about that. So hard to edge guard Samus here. Oh. Down tilt actually it, won't kill at this percent. Yeah, it's just it's gravy damage for Swooper now. That's what all this yeah. is. Yeah, really. right. All that for see, he knows he might get grabbed wow. after that. And even if he does, he still gets a ton of damage off of it. All right, last stop. But now oh, just ben, getting him off stage. Ben ben straight into that missile. I like that Swooper just get a little bit of a charge in. Hold mm -hmm. Ben. Oh. Balls are recovered from Ben, but it pays off. Oh, you got to be careful here, dude. Just this missile pressure by Swooper. Keeping yeah, Ben in his shield. Yeah. There we go. Oh, he oh! It. But it's not enough. Good try. Yeah. Because the no, forward tilt just covers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He super had seen that Omsa tech before. Knew that he could just easily forward tilt one more time at that percent. Yeah. But good and effort right by back ben. off stage. I actually wonder if he could even forward smash again because for Samus is forward smash. Very very fast smash tech. All things considered, you know. Might have even really get F smash F smash, but that's gonna do it. Hopefully we can go the distance in this set, man. I mean, anytime we get a high-level Samus on oh, Swooper's I'm looking solid, excited. man. He is. Swo no, Swooper's, you know, we're talking about kind of the difficulty Samus has in this matchup, but Swooper right now is looking very well-versed. Very, very well-versed. Anyone's game right now. Three. What stands out to me is this bomb usage, especially yeah. just on mm. the ground, basically trying to just trip up Ben maybe catch him on, on a stray aerial and just get like, you know, seven, eight percent at a time. It seems kind of crazy at first, but I'm actually liking his usage of it. But it's also that it, it kind of interrupts if Ben's trying to come in with a with an opening on Swooper. Um, you know, if a bomb just explodes right there, it just it cancels that entirely. Right. Like you might get one hit as Ben, right? But then you're getting bombed and now Swooper potentially has the advantage. There's those shield drop forward as you were talking about. Oh no! Stock here. This oh, he has grapple, right? I don't think that DI was almost. Yeah, no, oh, he had no grapple. Dead. Yeah, he never ended up landing. Randall, saying hi. Oh, oh, oh my God, dude! It is glorious that ah, we can get to her. Unfortunately, yeah. but it is really nice for Samus that she gets to up tilt you from the ground when um, you know, when you're chic and you land on the side platform. Yeah. Really sets up her combo game off the edge guards. Mm -hmm. gives, gives a little bit of an aspect of Marth pressure. Oh my. Right, platform where you can't really just land pressure. on the platform and, and be okay. Yep. I don't know about you guys, I'd be terrified if I saw a Samus wave landing back or that fast at me uh. over and over. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, great platform movement here. 
There's another one, but that one that one hits weak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so difficult just... to tipper all of those. Wow. There's one more. Now that you said it, I'm just scouting for him. Yeah, but the problem right. is Sheik oh. definitely has the better back air. Gotta go to... There it is. Mm -hmm. Good edge guard. Yeah, Sheik's back air, I mean, just... One of the best backers in the game. Yeah, definitely. Insane move. Shot, shot misses here. Good narrow approach by Swooper. Oh, shield pokes. Yeah, this platform usage. He wants to lock off Ben from just being able to use top platform for free, so good full hops by Swooper. That's the up tilt there. Oh, wow. Got a full edge early. Oh, go straight oh for the God, bear that ben. time. There it is again. Oh, and the weak one that time into the four tilt. He, he, he's living. He's ben is alive. Those projectiles too. Yeah. So he does it again. Wow. Okay. Such a good effort by Ben there. Only found a little bit more extra damage, but definitely worth that recovery effort. Yeah, testament to both players, honestly. Swooper, and also Swooper, you know, I've been you know, noticing a lot of the times he gets off the ledge a little early, but that time he realized, no, I gotta hold on for, for dear life for the entire thing, just let him fall to his doom. God, the needles, his needle storm again from Ben. Oh! Wow. Whoa! He was holding away for sure, right? Mm-hmm. But just 127. forward by Ben, catching him with the forward air. Mm-hmm. And I love Ben's movement on Yoshi's story here, making it really difficult to hit. It's actually like they're competing with each other to see who can yeah. make better use of the wavelengths off the platforms. Totally. Yeah, look how and Ben's going for it too. I actually don't even know which one's done it more. Ooh, upper forward air. That was sick. This is a Huge. lot of damage here. Holy cow. And up a stock. This feels... This feels like the most comfortable lead I think we've seen from either player. Yeah, Ben, totally happy to let Swooper on the ledge knowing that it's so difficult to actually make it to center stage. That's right, yeah. He's just gonna get... He's gonna get some damage every time, you know? Every yeah. time he tries to push through. Big forwarder there, yeah. Yep. And if it wasn't the forwarder, it felt like a grab was gonna do it too. Mm -hmm. At 130. That's that's the problem being Samus. This matchup on your last 130, 140, you're kind of like, I mean, if I get grab uh, grabbed... So you can't play the shield game like the way you would want to, and uh, you know, against most characters, because Sheik just has that guaranteed down throw into either forward air or, or up air. Yeah, you, you, you take that stock, and you you know, you go into the last stock, zero percent Sheik, hundred thirty percent. You got to play a real tight game to try to win that one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, Blur is in the chat and said, "How does Ben ever lose?" And I got to agree with the man here. Uh, I love in a, in a, a good like old-fashioned blur hyperbole. I love the blur hyperbole. I'm with him on this one, though. 100%. I love when blur, you know, it's like a, it's like a 75 to 80 percent thing, you know, and blur just takes it all the way up to 100. <laughs> That's the blur classic, dude. That is I'm the with, blur I'm with classic. him though. I'm with him too. I ben had some right sick movement him. in that game. That's right. We, we're getting into our game four here. I think Ben's definitely one of those quarantine heroes for melee. That's right. Youngster, too. Young dude. Is he? Yeah. Is he? He's I, like 18. He's young. Oh, young wow. dude. That's probably yeah. why, you know, he's just a new, fresh face. Younger than Melee. Younger That's crazy. than Melee. That is true. Shout outs to everyone in the chat. Younger than the game itself, who is keeping well, the game alive by playing on Was Slippy. it determined who's older, Wizrobe or Melee? That was the thing, right? It was like, is Wizzy. Let's see what Smash mm. has to say about that. I feel like Melee's older than Wizzy, right? Wizzy's Wizzy's older than twenty, right? He can he can like drink, right? Yeah, he's twenty three. Yeah, he's ninety eight. Ninety eight. Okay. Okay. Couple years on Melee. Yeah. Couple years on Melee. That sounds good. Do we have anyone or seen that's like uh, what's that guy's name? Zywu. Counter Strike player. He, yeah, is he young? Zywu. I remember the whole deal was like they call him like the. Oh, born on the day that CS came out. He was out? born on the day that Counter Strike came out. Yeah, that's so he's right. Like, oh, we have there has to be he's like the greatest player. There has oh, to be well, someone. Him or Thimple. That's so wild. The the chosen one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They call him the chosen one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah that's <laughs> fucking. That's crazy to me. There's gotta be, and we have the American and uh, Japanese release dates for Melee. I think both of those would count. Both of those would count. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll take either. I'll take either. I'll take either. Oh, again, the forwarders yeah. on the platforms. 
ever since Matt.Z pointed that out um, in the winter set that Super had with Panda, I've been looking out for those. Yeah, I really There's feel like, like that's one of its marketing features as a, as a Samus, to be honest. Like, I, I definitely don't see that from the other top level Samus. Not nearly in the same frequency. Yeah, it feels like less viable against Sheik than Fox for whatever reason. Like, I feel like he was going for it a little bit more against um, Panda than, than here in this uh, Samus Sheik set against Ben, but. Ooh! Oh! oh the yeah. classic! Sometimes you just gotta shoot it. Mm -hmm. Needles, yep, and needles set wow. up for more needles. So one of the things, though, actually, I think Swooper used those needles to his advantage, right? Because obviously he knows Ben's going to needle. What you can yeah. do with Samus is if you do the grapple and you press up at the same time as your air dodge, you do a rising one, right? What Swooper did there is he did the rising grapple, got canceled out of it, and then still had more room to recover because of the rising effect. Right, and he gets to at least get another 50-50 where, you know, the onus is on Ben to, like, close the edge guard out. There's a swooper just like I can stuff B now. Yeah. The, the battles they're having. Oh the my! These, these battles for platform supremacy are so dope right now. Oh! Did Ben? Has he used it? <gasps> oh, he, oh saved he, had it. he saved it. He saved it. But good and job. Ben, wow. ben, right there when he when he threw the needle right after the air dodge. Sometimes sometimes you want to hold on to it like just a split second. And damn, Ben closes it out. That whole edge guard sequence, yeah. by the way. Just chef's kiss on that one, but um, uh, yeah. Sometimes you want you want to make sure like you don't want to just needle them right after the air dodge. You want to make sure you see the little blue light coming out from the grapple because that's when it burns the grapple and they're not gonna be able to use it again. So you want to like hold that needle and throw it at just the right timing so that the grapple actually comes out. Yeah, you know? but it becomes a game for two players there. You know, it's like its own little micro game. It's like, do I use right. my grapple? Needle, right, you know? because because he's trying to he's trying to uh, you know super's trying to do it at a timing where because obviously you know Ben when he short ops he's gonna land eventually he can't threaten aerial needle forever so super is trying to do that air dodge in a grapple at a time where Ben has to land from the short hop and because Ben is landing he won't be able to get the needle that is gonna snipe the recovery. Yeah. Oh, super did a downward oh. angle forward smash. There. I wonder if uh, that angle has a benefit. I get it. Because his name's Ben. Oh, ben, ben of, yeah. <laughs> that's why you said that. Yeah, that's, yeah. Read my mind. <laughs> Super really has to go hard. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He does go higher every time he gets hit by the needle, but at the same time, his percent also goes higher. <laughs> so... Too. Just grab Zero <laughs> percent, love yeah, it. Absolutely, yeah. That's, that's, that's 2003 combo, right? Like before yeah. you play competitive, match. Match, throw forward smash with Samus. Dude, I remember when. Well, I remember when um when I played PPU Samus for the first time in tournament. Don't ask why PPU Samus. Is, Oscar Wait, can do, tell do you, you about. Mean, you mean the best Samus on best the West Samus Coast? on the West Coast? Yeah, exactly. So. I remember I played him in tournament, I kept di behind him because I know, I was like, oh, you know, when I play these other Samuses, they always do the turn around, they go for the up throw, turn around back, and I'm going to di behind him. And he just kept down throw forward smashing me, and I'd never seen it before. It tripped me up. Just like that. Just like that. Super mounting just a little like comeback that, here. Oh! Even charging up a shot just a little bit in between mm -hmm. attempts. Okay, this should be, this comeback. should be a kill here. This should be a kill, yeah. Oh, weak up air. No, no, no. It out. Okay, so the grapple's gone. Ah, but he misses the border. Okay, Swooper landed there too. God, Ben's Ben's platform. When he just like when the Samus is on the ledge and Ben is just shield dropping and dash dancing on that side platform next to him, it's terrifying. It definitely makes it very tough to try to come back up in Samus. But really, Samus doesn't have that many get up the options from the ledge. He's got the aerial interrupt, and it feels like you know with with Ben, it makes it feels like he has to do it, right? Feels like he has to go for that, but I mean, even then, Ben can just safely poke with the shield drop air, shield drop four air, shield drop needle. This is like a aerial interrupt roll immediate, you know? Like, and if that's what you're looking at for your best option, you're in a tougher spot than you think, right? Yeah, let's see what happens here. Yeah, dude, Ben, just using the stage control, it's such a great effect. Ben is facing so well right now. Swooper trying to rely on raw down tilts to find an opening here. 
but Ben just using this back air perfectly. Did he get the grapple? No, he's still going, he's still going. Super has to touch the ground here. There we go. Try to call out oh. on the forward air. But forward Super air, has a charge air. shot here. Is he going to use it while recovering again? No, he's going to hold it. Oh, oh that's it. Hard. Damn, there's that shield drop barrier. Dude, Ben's so tricky with that. Terrifying, well, man. And there goes Swooper, though. Fifth place. Omino number one. Mm-hmm. Ben, uh, definitely, I mean, Super did great for, for, for that being, like, one of, you know, the worst matchups for Samus in the, in the game. Like, I think Super did, uh, Super did really good. But Ben, um, damn. Just, uh, I mean, I always look at, uh, you know, how good are they able to really take the Samus to, because I think what Samus is able to bring to the table is really good recovery and really good out of shield, but Ben shut those down hardcore. Like yeah. Ben made every recovery situation for Swooper look really stressful. We also didn't really see too many of the up B punishes. We were seeing a lot of those against Panda, but I, I don't really recall seeing many at all against Ben there. Maybe it's just like a uh, character difference yeah. between Samus and Sheik and Fox, right? That's the tricky thing. He did go for those up tilts a lot of the time uh, when mm -hmm. she recovered on stage, but a lot of the times it was a combo that would send them to center stage. It wasn't continuing the edge guard like he needed to with maybe a down smash or something. Right. So, but, but I mean, again, you got to give credit to Ben uh, in that set there. It, as a Samus player, I'm just, one, I'm just I'm wondering how 